Welcome to Freijing. I'm Roxy and today we're going to be making pirehe. Make sure to get an adult to help you in the kitchen and let's get started. HCP TV. First, we got to boil our potatoes. But before we do that, before we pop them in the pot, we do have to peel them first. So, grab mama's favorite peeler and get going. All right, now that we're done peeling our potatoes, let's chop them up quick, throw them in our pot, add some salt and some water to your pot, and then let's get to boiling. So once your potatoes are all cooked and ready to go, you're gonna to wanna to drain the water, but not all of it. You're gonna to wanna to save a little bit for your dough. That's a secret tip. And once you've drained the water, get ready to mash them. Now season your potatoes with a little bit of salt and pepper. Next, we're gonna start making our dough. So we're gonna use our flour, our water from our potatoes, our salt, and our oil. Add one and a half cups of flour. Half a cup of your potato water. half a teaspoon of salt, and about a tablespoon of oil. Once you've got all your ingredients in your bowl, you can just take your hands and start kneading. Oh, make sure you've washed them first. You'll need to knead your dough for about five to 10 minutes. Add more flour if your dough is too sticky, or add more water if your dough is too tough. If you need a better surface to start kneading your dough, feel free to get a clean surface, flour it down, and just put your dough right on there. Knead with the heel of your hand until it feels soft and silky. Once you're done kneading your dough, take a dishcloth, cover it in the bowl, and let it rest for about 30 minutes. Dough sit for about 30 minutes. You're going to take the cloth off, lightly flour a surface, and put your dough just right on there. Next, we're going to roll out our dough. Roll your dough until it is about a quarter inch thick. Once you're done rolling out your dough, you're going to grab a butter knife and start to try and cut it into two inch squares. You can also use a glass to cut out circles for half moon shaped pitahe. Once you're done cutting up your dough, you're going to take a spoonful of your filling and start to pinch together. Make sure that you pinch all your edges closed. Don't leave any holes or your filling will escape when you boil them. You can also get a little fancy by twisting your edges as you seal. Now that we have pinched our beautiful pita hair, we're going to drop them into our boiling pot to cook them. Once you've got your pita hit boiling in your pot, you're going to let them boil for about three or four minutes or until they start to float up to the top. That's how you know they're ready. They're ready. Well, 
look at these steaming pit of hair. Awesome job, guys. If you want to keep them from sticking together and you're going to eat them hot, feel free to add a little bit of oil or butter on the outside. And serve it with some sautéed onions and your favorite sour cream. Feel free to add other things to your filling before cooking, like fried onion, sauerkraut, cottage cheese, or dill. You can even make dessert pita hiv by using fruit for your filling. I hope you enjoyed those yummy pita hiv. If you need a little bit more help, you can print out the instructions and don't forget to print out the badge you earned for this video. Otherwise, dopevacchia and we'll see you next time.